Hi, I'm Peter Taraka, Manager of Aircraft Restoration here at Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. Today we'll be talking about the tail hook on our 1945 Sky Raider. The Sky Raider came to us without a tail hook and the thought of a U.S. Navy carrier-based aircraft as famous as the Sky Raider uh, going out there on display without a tail hook, well, that's just unacceptable. Every airplane that flew off Intrepid or any aircraft carrier would have to have one in order to return to that aircraft carrier safely. The pilot would lower it on approach to the carrier and catch one of several arresting cables stretched across the flight deck and come to a complete stop in what the Navy would call a trap. So we had to find a tail hook. My boss, Eric Bame, found a period accurate uh, tail hook for an airplane from uh, this era on eBay, but not the complete hook, just uh, 18 inches or so. There's a popular thing with retired Navy pilots to have a chunk of tail hook sitting on their desks later in life as a, uh, a piece of memorabilia. And that's where I think uh, this may have come from. So then we took that small section of hook and we welded it to uh, the correct length of mild steel tubing, which I obtained from the exhibits department here at the Intrepid. Here we see the original mount uh, for the tail hook and it was in uh, poor condition. And there's a large crack on the lower side and it had some drill holes in it, none of which I could use really for mounting this one. So I'm uh, drilling a horizontal hole through the mount itself and the tail hook to put a horizontal bolt to hold it in place. I may have to use some persuasion. Okay, that's on. The last step in the installation process is uh, attaching the hook to uh, this release latch. The pilot would control this release latch when he was on approach to the carrier, pull a lever in the cockpit, and from gravity, the hook would just drop right down. However, this release latch and all of its sorted mechanism to the cockpit is so thoroughly corroded that the latch itself is immobile. I need to devise some way to attach this uh, to the latch. Okay, so we came up with a solution for uh, retaining the arresting hook in the retracted position. Uh, a hole in the now immobilized latch, which was originally used for this purpose, uh, will be perfect to attach these band clamps, which I've fastened, uh, uh, to be bolted in place. And there you have it. So the tail hook is done. Uh, we have a lot more to do on the Sky Raider. Uh, stay tuned for more behind the scenes videos. Go to intrepidmuseum.org.